So we're going to do a hard drive upgrade on this HP ProBook 4730S. So the first step you want to do is you're going to take the battery out. And I don't have my tripod with me. Um, you're going to push both sides of these. I'm going to have to have both hands to do it and then it's going to lift up. I don't think I can do it with one hand. Um, and then it'll it'll lift up from this side and come out. So you kind of got to release both latches at the same time and it pops it up and then you can tilt it out just like that. So then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to push these in and you're going to pull back on this cover. And it's going to pop loose like this, and then you can lift it up. So it's the same latches that release the battery, release the cover. So now that you have the cover out of the way, you can access everything inside. So the hard drive on this machine is held in a little caddy right here. And then there's four screws that hold the hard drive in. So we're going to take these four screws out. Drop my screwdriver. We'll take these four screws out. Yeah, I'll get the other get the other one out. All right, so now the screws are out. What you have to do is slide the hard drive this way. Uh, it latches in and then it pushes into the connector right here. So the whole drive needs to go that way. So they put a little thing here that does not work very well to slide it. So you're gonna have to get in there and slide it. Do not pry against the connector, but you can get in here. You might can pull on this. No. I don't know why. I guess that's just to lift it out. Yeah, it's kind of stuck in here. So there's a little spot here on the side. You can get in with a thin blade. And that slid it, or that pushed it out, and then lift up from this side, and it is out. So this is a mechanical hard drive. We're going to replace this with the SSD. So we're going to undo these two screws and these two screws, and we will place the SSD inside. And we'll probably reuse, somebody at some point ripped this little cover, but um, we will reuse this cover. We will slide the drive out and slip the new one in and put screws in it. All right, SSD is installed. Uh, to get around this cover, you just peel it up from this side and then um, you know, slip the drive in. Of course, you take all the screws out, put screws back in. Then there's enough sticky residue, or at least in my case there was, to stick this back. So we leave this cover in place. So now just slip it in like this. Make sure you get it seated down all the way. And then we're going to use this little tab over here to slide it into place. And make sure we have it in. All right, 
it is seated in place all the way. So we're gonna put these two four or these these two screws and these two screws back in place. All right, we've got those four screws installed, so the SSD is installed. Now we just gotta put the cover back on. So to get the cover back on, just like it came off, it slips in, and then it's gonna slide forward, it snaps, and then we can put our battery back in place. And it hinges down, just like it came out, and that's it. We are done. So, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe for more.